So Ivan, how important do you think is psychology in trading? I, I think it's very, very important. It's, it's, uh, it, it's paramount, you mm -hmm. know, and it, it's one of the reasons why I couldn't be successful for all these years. I couldn't um, be consistently profitable. I had a system, I had a yeah. risk management plan, and I came uh, into trading with a decent amount of money. You know, I had saved about a hundred thousand dollars from different wow. little jobs I took mm -hmm. throughout the years. Yeah. And I, you know, so, so I had the money, I had the system, I had the risk management plan, but for some reason I just couldn't follow my, my plan. <laughs> you know, I, I just couldn't follow through with it and, and apply it consistently because winning trades were going to my head and losing trades were, were hitting me deep. You know, yeah. and, and it was, it was very hard to be, be my emotions were just all over the place. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't able to be consistent in my behavior mm -hmm. because I didn't give the mindset component the attention it deserves. And it's only when I had, when I nearly blew away uh, that hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars, went on my first meditation retreat Ooh. and I, and, and I noticed that I, I, I noticed how I was just a slave to my thoughts, my thought process, mm -hmm. and how my I had no uh, no maturity in dealing with, with my emotions. That's when I understand it, it just became crystal clear mm -hmm. that um, I was doing something wrong in, in creating. Mm -hmm. And I knew I was doing something wrong back then, but yeah. I. I was just lost in my my own thinking, and, and, and you know, I saw myself as a victim. You know, oh, okay. oh you know, it's a, I can't, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, you know, I'm a loser, or the mark is after me, or this or that. The retreat yeah. gave me this insight into my own behavior, mm -hmm. and it made me more accountable. And it uh, just it planted the seed inside yeah. my mind, and then from then on, I started changing and practicing more and practicing more and more meditation going on other retreats and that's that was the turning point for, for me wow um, this makes so me, coming back this to, makes me want to go on a retreat <laughs> yeah you, I could. you should totally try that if you can celeste it's it's a beautiful experience it's it's just a few days in in your life you know just and it's it's something that's gonna really help you think deeper and develop insights and become a better version of yourself over time. I totally get it. I totally get it. It's all about it's all about our minds. I always get all these messages of people who are asking me, what can I do? I, I've been through all these seminars, they've spent so much on whatever and they've been doing their best back testing until two in the morning. But for some yeah, reason, yeah. They, they still can't do what they're supposed to do. And I'm like, it's probably because um, it's probably because you, you kind of just are a slave to your impulses. Well, they, they're, they're looking for a solution outside. They're not looking inside. In oh, wow. And that, that's that's my whole point with, you know, that's why I I share so much about trading psychology. Oh, the, you know, my whole website is about that. My my Twitter stream is about that. Yes, it because is. Because I, yeah, just that's what I want to help people with. I want to help them develop a, an understanding of themselves. You know, and if, even if I planted, if I successfully planted a seed in just a handful of people, then then I'm doing my 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 job. You know, I'm doing something good. And I'm, I'm very proud of that to, to be able to help people in such a way because I've, I've suffered a lot be, because of, you know, my, my own self destructive behaviors. And it, it, it didn't only affect me in the market, it, affect, it, it, it affected my personal life as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so the, the reason why I focus so much on trading psychology be, is because when you have a trading system, when you have a risk management plan, it's the last piece of, of, of the puzzle mm -hmm. and you absolutely need that if you want to return a consistent performance out of your trading activities you need to develop a more efficient way of dealing with your mindset with your different states of mind and you need to develop self-understanding and self-knowledge yeah i think most people and, have um, a plan 
for their trade, but they don't really have a plan mm. for themselves when they start acting irrational. Oh, that's, that's a beautiful way of putting it. Yeah, absolutely. I completely agree with, with you. So, so yes, simple advice that I would give to beginners, uh, have a plan uh-huh. so, so that you can like a, a plan for the market. Yeah. Uh, and it, like that, that plan should outline a system that includes a risk management plan mm-hmm. and ha- that has a positive expected value. It's mm-hmm. very important in the long run. If you trade it, it's virtually guaranteed to make you more money that, than you lose. So that's what the, the your trading plan. Is. And then second, as as you said, have a plan for yourself. You know, like mm-hmm. yeah. Just, just have a plan for you, for yourself. Develop a systematic way of dealing with your mindset mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and your different urges and your mm-hmm. thoughts and your emotions, and it's 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 gonna pay off. It's gonna pay off it. one or the other. And and it's it's I don't say this to to brag, Celeste. I, I rarely share my you know my numbers mm-hmm. because I feel it's useless. It's pointless. I, I I never share my own trades on Twitter. Yeah, you don't. Uh, and and I I just I feel that it's 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 not necessary at all. It just creates mm-hmm. more noise in people's lives. All mm-hmm. you need is to, to to have your own plan and follow your own plan. You don't need to look at other people's trades, what they're mm-hmm. doing, and where they're entering. It's, it's just create, creates more noise in in your mind. Yeah. So 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 yeah. So so that's one of the reasons why I don't share my trades. But I've been able to grow my my account i have been able to grow a fourteen thousand dollar account wow and i've grown it to about five hundred thousand dollars wow that's um, amazing oh my gosh you are you, yeah you did and, and well. so so in the space of uh from 2013 to 2019 right now um yeah so that's amazing the, like in the space of a couple of years so that's what consistency in your behavior gets you you know mm-hmm. and I, I again i don't say this to brag at all but you need to develop consistency in your behavior you know like if you do your real results will, will come together oh thank you for sharing and i feel really honored i actually really feel you on this one um ever since i really got into the trading psychology thing and I keep telling people that I don't like to share charts or I don't like to share how much I've been making simply because I feel like that's not how I want to help people I want to help people by making them understand that it's all about your inner self and and I, yeah. I look at you guys and I feel really inspired with what you guys do that you don't because I feel like when you start sharing this just to prove the people that you can create it, it's yeah. already at, it puts you at a defensive and other people don't really you don't really need their approval I suppose you don't really need their approval everyone's here just to try to trade try to make a living out of it but yeah I, I feel like in the end, it's all about psychology, and that's that's all I could really share to people. Yeah. I've been I've lost badly in the stock market as well, and I, I did realize that even after figuring out different systems, in the end, it's all about how you could execute it. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely, I, and you're you're right. It's it's all about that. It's about execution, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and just to come back to to what you were saying. Mm-hmm. few seconds ago about uh, not sharing trades and not sharing your your numbers your performance and i completely relate to to that personally the second reason why i don't share my numbers and my trades and mm-hmm. i only share my numbers here just to make a point uh, but uh, you know i don't share because it, it, i've noticed that um you know and and it's, it's something that's not unique to me it's something that mm-hmm. everyone suffers from when when you uh that there, there's a tendency in the human mind mm-hmm. to become strongly identified and and attached to past successes in the market mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Your, your, your trades your, your trades online and when you share your, your numbers so people are seeing that yeah okay and 
So this puts pressure on you. This put, it locks you in some kind of ego thing. You know, it's a big ego trap. That's and true. it's ultimately harmful to one's bottom line. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and so even though I don't share my traits online, you know, it's something that that I that I deal with. You know, it's it's like it's it's there. You know, it's very easy to become attached to past successes. Mm-hmm. And yeah, after thirteen years of trading, the, the learning never stops. You know, it's it just continues on. I totally and, agree. I remember mm-hmm. there is one trader in the Philippine stock market, and I do know him personally. He's really close to me. He was my mentor. He would often mm-hmm. post money he makes at the six-digit level, six-digit level in a day. But this is in Philippine pesos, so it's it's about five-digit level at your at your mm-hmm. um, conversion. So he would yeah. often post stuff like that, and then at a few, and then so people got used to it, right? And then a few. Like months later, he would post some of money he made, and it wouldn't be at our six-digit level. It would be at around um, five digits level, and people kind of look at it as um, a poor performance, even if it, even yeah. if he, he did the execution really well, even if he yeah, did yeah. make money, simply because they were used to him seeing six-digit level. And I don't understand the kind of, I do understand the kind of pressure that. This could put to one person that if he makes money, even uh, and it isn't that much, he could still be called a failure for it. So it would give this unnecessary pressure, like you said. And I totally agree with that. That that was really good for me to hear. And yeah, I, I get yeah, you there. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. People are sh- short-sighted. They 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 only see what they want to see. You know, mm-hmm. they, they that's it. They they see things through their own. Perspective, mm-hmm. and when, and it's some often it's a distortion of, of, of reality, you know. And but it is what it is. Well, okay, um, okay. You and I, we, we we do our best to educate people. Uh, uh, That's true. Okay. Regard, but I, I mean, you know. So say oh, oh, you're oh. in the middle of a trade, right? So this happens. You're in the middle of a trade, and then you just have this overwhelming feeling of like. Fear or greed, and what do you think a trader could do to prevent them from moments from disaster, so they wouldn't succumb to this feeling? What do you think is a practical tip? Okay, so like, thing governs behavior when we're talking about money or, or anything that is perceived as as valuable. You know, there's it is a there's a loss aversion tendency in mm-hmm, the mind mm-hmm. so often traders with this and it's you know you know they they're not even aware that it's there in their mind mm-hmm. um, that's 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 why i i talk so much about mindfulness and mm-hmm. uh, you know learning to to be aware of, of what you're feeling and experiencing but most people don't and so when taking a loss mm-hmm. or when some, something adverse happens in the market the market goes it's going against you mm-hmm. uh, most people's first in- instinct is to protect themselves is to yeah. get the money back at all costs is to do whatever they can to just uh, not have to go through the loss Mm-hmm. Which often makes things worse because it it makes you uh, de- deviate from your plan and and just do things that are outside of it and mm-hmm. and, and and you know when when you take the loss let's say it's mm-hmm. it makes you depressed and this depression uh, um, just turns into something else you know and, and just, it, it becomes very difficult for, for them to follow their, their their plan so in my course the trading psychology mastery course yeah at some point i make traders go through a very simple exercise okay and it's super effective i ask them to take a piece of paper uh-huh. a pen and uh-huh. a coin okay head heads you earn uh let's say 60 dollars mm-hmm. tail you lose 20 dollars okay 
um, and I ask them to write the results down as they're flipping the coin. Okay. So fair coin, okay. After 10 tosses, what you'll notice if you do the exercise, you'll notice that you might win more or you, or you might lose lose more, you know? Mm -hmm. Anything can happen in the short term. Mm -hmm. uh, anything can show up, heads or tails. But after 100 tosses, Celeste, 100 mm -hmm. tosses or more, you're, you're almost certain to win because there's an asymmetric risk to re reward scenario here mm -hmm. even if it's fair random right mm -hmm. because there's an asymmetric risk to reward scenario mm -hmm. uh, you're, you're actually guaranteed to win if you keep tossing the coin yes so doing this exercise helps i i've, I've found you know anecdotal mm -hmm. it, it helps people understand that they're playing a numbers game and when playing a numbers game, results matter. They do matter, but they yeah. do not matter in the short term. Yeah. They only matter over the long run. Okay. So knowing that playing the, with this exercise repeatedly, it, it, it kind of anchors this, this idea that you're playing a numbers game. It, it anchors it in your mind and, and it becomes easier to follow your plan af after that and to trust your pro process. Perfect. I really love that. As long as a person keeps going, as long as your risk mm -hmm. management is right, you keep going yeah. in the end, it will eventually work out for you. Absolutely. And I'm, and, um, you know, I, you know it's, I, I, I hope I've been crystal clear about that. Yeah. Okay. So one last question for you, Ivan. Yeah. Final advice for traders listening to this right now. Okay, um, let's see, let's see, um, just keep, keep trading, you know, that's, mm -hmm. that's what I'm going to say. Just keep trading and develop a more healthy understanding of yourself and develop awareness mm -hmm. and keep your size small. Yes. Uh, and, uh, yeah, keep trading, keep trading, keep, keep, keep trading, keep learning. There, there's no such thing as a mistake, you know, there's only experience. So keep trading, keep wow. making mistakes, you know, like keep making mistakes and you're, you're going to learn from it. You know, like, mm -hmm. like that's what life is about. It's about falling and learning from it. Mm -hmm. And that's what trading is about. But most people see, see errors and mistakes as the end of the world, but they're approaching it with a completely uh, unproductive state of mind. It's, it's, it's. A mistake is just a learning experience. Of course, there are mistakes that 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 are brutal. You know, mm -hmm. if you typically mistakes that are related to risk management, you know, you you want to keep your size small. You know, because mm -hmm. if you're if you make a mistake where, where, where you know, let's say you're risking hundred percent of your 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 account mm -hmm. on one trade, mm -hmm. and then it ends up being a loss. You know, you you've lost. <laughs> Uh, you know, your opportunity to, to learn and to make other mistakes, you know? So there are mistakes like that that, that are very difficult to recover from. Yes. Uh, be, because it boots you out, of, it boots you out of, of, of the game, you know? Be, and if you're out of the game, you can't learn. It's, oh. it's you know, period. It's you, true. you can't learn. So you have to stay in the game and make mistakes. And to do that, you, ca you have to keep your size small. So don't think about making money right now. You know, mm -hmm. think about keeping your size small and trading and acquiring skill you're, you're learning a set of skills right and and it's like going to university or college you know mm -hmm. you well at, at at the end of it all you know that there's there's hopefully there's a, there's a good job waiting for you if you're, <laughs> if you're not you know uh, doing some sort of i, I don't know <laughs> if if you're if you're uh, stu studying a field that has a in terms of jobs and so on in your favor the same you know like you know, focus on learning and and oh it'll all work out you'll learn a set of skills you'll develop an expertise okay and and one thing i want to add and i hope i'm not ram rambling too much here wonderful career choice if you're not unidimensional in your way of thinking mm -hmm. so 
again, my advice for newbies, aspiring mm-hmm. traders, mm-hmm. again, trading, develop an expertise, make money slowly, yeah. and then eventually leverage your expertise. And this, this is something not, not everyone will tell you. Yeah. Right. Uh, leverage your expertise. Create different streams of income through coaching, membership websites, mm-hmm. podcasts, mm-hmm. or or what not. You know, like mm-hmm. that. That's when the rubber meets the road. Mm-hmm. If you want my your opinion, Celeste, mm-hmm. it's you. You want to develop an expertise so mm-hmm. so that you can uh, expand your trading business. Mm-hmm. Right. The way I'm doing it. You know, I like for instance, I I run a website called Trading Composure, mm-hmm. uh, and I help people. And by helping people, it's helping me as well, mm-hmm. helping uh, me seal certain ideas in in my mind. It's help, it's helping me develop a, 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 like a stream stream of income that that is not dependent upon trading, which which comes in, which is very very helpful when mm-hmm. when you know my performance when you know. When I mean the drawdown, let's say yes, yes. this that stream stream of income is really really helpful because your your income from trading will fluctuate a lot. It will fluctuate all over the place. That's just mm-hmm. a fact. If yes. you're a consistent trader, you'll make money overall. Yes, mm-hmm. but on a week to week or month to month basis, any anything can happen. Sure. Sometimes you'll get one, two, three losing months in a row. Sometimes mm-hmm. you'll get one, two, three winning months in a row. True. That's what the market is, is, is all about. There's a level of uncertainty that's very hard to dispel, and that's that's just the name of of the game. And or or, or else we would just all be banking millions every week, you know. But but it's not the case, and mm-hmm. because of uncertainty com- uncertainty component. And so, per- personally, uh, at the beginning, as as a trader, mm-hmm. my Um, as a trader was fluctuating all over all over the place you know mm-hmm. that's what i noticed is that sometimes i had really really good months when i made a ton of money yeah. but other times I had losing months or even so so months you know not mm-hmm. losing not making uh, you know not making it nearly enough as i should be yeah. and so i realized that i needed to have more income sources to offset each each other mm-hmm. uh, if one wasn't making me a lot of money i had other ones to make money from as well so so i decided to write books to create courses based on my expertise you know i have an expertise in in trading i have an yeah. as well mm-hmm. and and now it is what it is it's grown you know progress has been slow and steady but basically all of this began out of this need for income diversification mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah the the, the Of, of income I've been able to create now allows me to trade without any financial pressure whatsoever. Love it. Because I know Celeste, because I know that money is coming in every month, no matter what. You, you know, you it. know, you know what? It, it gives you a certain um, helps you relax. Yes. Yeah. I really like it because by now you can finally trade out of opportunity and not pressure. That's and- it. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I really love how honest you are about that. I, I just, as a full-time trader, I know that sometimes there will be no income from my trades. Sometimes yeah. I would actually give money to the market. It happens, and it's it's the reality of life. And um, yeah. I do know that if I want to be able to keep doing this, I have to put a bit of stability somewhere else. And I love yeah. how and how honest you are. Not a lot of traders will be that that honest. So. I'm really glad for you. Wow. Yeah, that I've, you said I've, this. I've, yeah. Well, I've I've noticed that that traders don't those quote unquote successful traders out there they they don't typically talk about their their side business mm-hmm. and they have websites they have you know they offer coaching and source mm-hmm. stock picking memberships or, or whatnot you know but they 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 ties that part of, of their business and I think it's very important to be honest. About the whole range of what trading is, is is all about. It's a business. You're building a business. You know, you're building expertise, and out of there, that expertise, you're building a, a business. I, I think I've, I, I read somewhere that the the average millionaire has at least seven sources of income. Mm-hmm. True, true. And I've read that. So, yeah. So, I mean, yeah. The, the, 
listen, I'm, I'm, I'll leave it at that. Like so, don't be unidimensional in your way of thinking. Mm -hmm. I yeah. just, there are just a few people who think that if you are really a successful trader, why do you even have to sell stuff like this? And yeah. I'm like, trading is a very risky thing. <laughs> and it we is. all yeah. need something to live, especially if you have your own family and if you have goals and dreams. And there's, ne there's nothing wrong about making more money, right? Like, yeah. there shouldn't be Absolutely. some kind of belief preventing you from expanding. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, for, for, for me personally, uh, the, the combination of trading and, and, you know, my side income, it's, um, I, you know, I'm a very simple person. You know, I, I live a very, very simple life. I don't spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. It's just who, who I am as a person. I'm very discreet. I'm very simple. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't like, you know, fast car sports cars or okay. mansions and so on but i i do own own a lot of real estate though and oh. trading has allowed me to do that i i own a beautiful house in mauritius that i bought yeah wow. a few years ago beach you know we 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 had a, an apartment in vancouver a few <laughs> years ago we <laughs> sold it now but i mean you know like trading has allowed me to 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 develop financial freedom to financial. experience financial and come from a family I, I know what 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 uh, being poor means you, it, you know what it is and i'm very glad to say that trading has been a, has allowed me to not having to think about money let's put it this way i love that financial freedom mm -hmm. that's all we're here for so financial freedom uh, yeah exactly so thank you ivan that was such a great session with you i'm really happy thank you for keeping in touch with me as well and for helping me throughout for the for the listeners tonight i just want you all to know mm -hmm. how ivan has been so so kind to me and has been a source of support towards my journey and he's such an amazing guy thank you for doing this to me um it, it would be so it would be so amazing to get this message out there. It was a real ple pleasure to be able to talk to you, Celeste, and thank you for your positive energy, for your, <laughs> for your uh, great questions, and uh, thank you for inviting me on. It's been a oh, real pleasure. Please, please invite I, I, them. I, Where could they see more of your content? Um, so my website is tradingcomposure.com. Mm -hmm. That's where I blog about... Uh, uh, just a mindset component of uh -huh. trading. Uh -huh. I talk strictly about that because I just, that's why I, where I struggled the most and I feel that that's where people need help. Yeah. And um, I share a lot on Twitter as well. My yeah. Twitter feed is uh, at Ivan, Y V A N, by G B Y E A J E E. Mm -hmm. And I'm very active on there as well. Mm -hmm. And if you're interested, if you're if you're adventurous, just check out my 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 courses. You know, they're um, good stuff. You know, I really pour in my heart into those courses Love and it. help people develop, uh, you, you know, de develop their mindset, more positive mindset, more my, my mindset that's more con conducive to 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 success in. in trading and yeah and i wish you success as well as mm -hmm. celeste you're doing a great job oh. and you, you have a good energy and i wish you a lot of success in whatever you're doing and uh, yeah let's let's keep in touch <laughs> all right thank you Yvonne, and have a pleasant day thank you thank you you too celeste thank you so much <laughs>